It's Mark Russell, 770 Arborist, ISA Certified Arborist, and Tree Risk Assessment Qualified out here in Hilton Head Island with a very, very interesting video I want to show you. So there is damage, tree damage, all over the place. This tree has a house on it, or this house has a tree on it. This house over here has two trees on it. As a certified arborist and a track qualified, tree risk assessment qualified arborist through ISA, we constantly are looking at the risk profiles of trees. And I remember being down in Hurricane Katrina and I saw an interesting example. I never did get a video and I always regretted it. But this example is a question of how much decay in a tree will cause a tree to fall. And the answer is you really have a hard time knowing. So tree, two trees on that house, two trees on that other one. And look at this tree. Look at that tree. Look at all of that decay. This is a girthy tree for perspective and size. It's very, very big. Leaning, you would say leaning, and and perhaps, perhaps it's come up some. I don't know. I don't suspect it has because it has growth coming up. That's what they call um, phototropic growth. So I think over time, this thing may have gotten shifted a long time ago and then kind of went up toward the light. So that actually tells you when you have a, an upward curve in a tree that the roots have established themselves after a, a, a wind event and it started re-growing toward the light. But the point is that decay there, it's real interesting because you would have said, hey, which tree will fall first? And I probably would have said that one, but you really never know. Uh, that's a lot of decay, but then you look in the canopy the canopy's a little sparse. I mean, at the end of the day, it is impossible to tell the future, but you can make some accurate predictions. But anytime we see these, I like to just, I've seen a lot of them, but I haven't ever got them on video. So sometimes decay pockets don't necessarily mean failure. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions about your trees, feel free to give me a call. 770-ARBORIST. Been in Atlanta doing trees since 97. All right, you guys take it easy. Bye-bye.